I am very, very glad to be able to connect with uh, an amazing man who I, I think many of you probably have heard his voice. You may not necessarily know his name, but you certainly know his music. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I'm Cindy Paulos here with the Peace Project, and I saw Tony Lindsay in a San Francisco chapter of a Grammy meeting, and I found out he had um, a couple of great new pieces out, which I added to my station. Then I went, wow, let me look at his background. And I, I looked you up on Wikipedia, and you go yeah. on and on and on and on. I mean, you won 11 Grammys, including yes. Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Best Rock, worked with Santana. In 1991, you were on some of the most classic, wonderful pieces. You sang vocals on, on those? My gosh. And um, and, and meanwhile, you were smart enough to get your own career going, too, with about, right. what, five five solo albums now? Five solos. And uh, number six will be coming out in 2021. And, I, you know, it's got to be, I, I mean, we've got to talk a little bit about the Santana thing, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and to ride a horse where you're singing vocals on a horse that powerful, I mean, with all of that amazing rhythm section and 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 Carlos's soaring guitar that just yeah. brings the soul light in. How do you merge when you're singing vocals with all that power behind you? It's real easy. The the adrenaline that you get from from between the, the combination of that powerful band behind you and and looking out in the audience and seeing 25, 30, 40,000, 50,000 people out there. If that if that doesn't get you up then nothing will. Wow. And you know, yeah. that band, you know, you really have to dig in with that Santana band because with all of that sound coming from behind you, I mean, all of the big per percussion section and, and Carlos's guitar is- And, and horns, lots oh, of yeah. horns, yeah, yeah. It's, it, was, it, it was, that was so much fun. Oh. Yeah, yeah, my it gosh, was, usually yeah. on, I, even here on Maui, because he had a home here, I, he would have like when he did concerts, there'd be like ten people yeah. on stage, maybe twelve people yeah. on, in the band on stage. Yeah. You know, I mean, and 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 always hit your soul. Always hit that high note in your soul, right? Which you so, do with your with your vocals, right? Yeah, we always had. Uh, I always I always said uh, that my my voice was a perfect match perfect match with his guitar. You know, so he uh, he he always laughed and loved, loved that when they would say that too. And it was true. I mean, I, you know, you have to be a pretty strong vocalist in there because if you if you got a timid voice and weak, it's it's not gonna work. it's <laughs> not gonna work in that band. <laughs> no. Won't do it. No, you gotta you gotta really just just jump right into that zone that is created, and and that is one thing that you know, there's certain bands that really feed the energy field, mm -hmm. and you do with your voice as well. But you know. You talk about playing live, you know, the energy field of the audience right back at you because it creates this amazing zone of okay. energy that is transcendent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, we, we missed we miss that dearly right now. And uh, yeah. we don't know when we're going to get that back at, at that capacity because, you know, it's just uh, unfortunately we're in this pandemic and um, and uh, people are n not wanting to be that close to each other <laughs> anymore right now. So yeah. hopefully in another, in another year or so, uh, things will start, start to slow down and we can get back to some, some normalcy. Don't know if we'll ever be back to where we were, but you know, I think that things are changing. It's just gonna take time, that's all. So talking about that energy field, um, this is the Peace Projects. And while you're on that wild ride, of you know touring with one of the top bands in the world mm -hmm. um which is intense it's intense time and and while you're doing all of that plus your own life and then creating five of your own albums how do you find your inner peace how do you find that connection that keeps you real that the music takes care of that you know it's um yeah i, I i've been fortunate to have actually two different careers because um, when I, I never stopped working, you know, when I'm at home, I've always had uh, probably here in the Bay Area, I've not only had my own band, um, I did one doing just solo stuff, 
Then I had another R and B uh, uh, band that I had called Spangalang, and then I would work with pretty much everybody here in the Bay Area. So I was like working with probably five or six different different uh, um, uh, bands here just in the Bay Area alone. So and were you always, performing with them as well, or just oh, yeah. re- you recorded and and performed, right? Recorded and performed, and uh, and I always mixed music wise. I always mixed it up, doing a lot of straight ahead jazz stuff. Uh, matter of fact, we have a uh, a CD out with the with the Mike O'Neill Quintet. It's called uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time, and that that CD is really good. We did it probably about a year ago, and it's a pretty hot CD. So I could do the I can do the, the straight ahead jazz stuff. I can do the rock stuff. I can do the R and B stuff. I got my original stuff. So I've always kept myself involved in different music so that I don't get bored. And you know, I, I never really had to think <laughs> about what my what what I'm going to be doing next because my schedule was already already booked. You know, I'd leave uh, two days before we'd go on the road with Santana. I'd leave those two days open just so I can. I can get myself in that frame of mind of being on the road and, and, and performing at a different level. And then when I came home, I give myself two days off before I started doing stuff at home, you know? So I always had that balance and it, it's, it's, I, I miss that right now. Yeah. Really well, that balance is so key. I think we're actually astrologically going through a time of balance. You know, there's this Jupiter, Jupiter Saturn conjunction happening on Monday, you know, uh, the 21st with the winter solstice and Jupiter and Saturn, one goes forward, one slows you down, one goes forward. And we're having that time where the two are really close. So oh, right yeah. in the middle, in that zone between the two energy fields, there is a little time balance but for three days before we get more light. And, um, and well, it's interesting. There, huh? <laughs> it's a little, and the only way to do it is to stay centered and balanced like you, you have found, you know, um, but this last year, I know, for me and from some of my creative friends and people like you, I just had to turn to more creativity. I had to turn to creating because exactly. when I get stressed, I create. Exactly. And, and that and this year, so many people needed to hear stuff. You know, you you re, you did a lot of work this year. Tell us about well, you did a Christmas song and all is yeah. one. Tell us tell us about your creations this year. Well, when when they shut us down back in March. Um, since March, I've probably written close to 15 songs. Wow. Because I have my, I have my own studio up in San Francisco and I have, I have my studio just, just for my uh, writing purposes. That's it. I don't do any sessions and having people come in, you know, and I go into my studio, I'm the only one there all the time. I, oh. I don't have, there's no TV there. I have my cell phone. I got my, my computer that I'm doing my work on. There's no refrigerator there, no distractions. Wow. So I can go there and, and concentrate and get work done. So it's been close to 15 songs that I've gotten, that I've written since. And, and, and um, uh, All Is One was a song that was uh, released. We released it back in August. And uh, that song, just it just went up the charts so far. And it's still yeah. in the top 10 on the yeah. uh, independent charts. And, and just like a week ago, my Christmas song entered in on the chart. So right now I have two songs on the independent soul charts and they're going to play right through the end of the year. And probably it all is one is going to stay on there. It's going to stay on there for a long time. Cause it's, it's a song that just has a, a, a universal message and, and we really need that right now for what we're going through. Yes, absolutely. I did all in this together. I wrote that and that was a group sing along song with a lot of um, fellow Grammy members and, and uh, together, uh, you know, in this together and a lot of songs like that. I wrote a song called You Can't Stop the Music because you know what? We had to stop the touring. There was no touring, but the music kept going. The music has been such an inspiration and a blessing for so many people. Yeah. So, so, so tell us, you know, from your sacred space of your blessed recording studio, which you just have, what a dream. <laughs> What a manifestation you have created to have your own private space of a recording yes. studio. God, how wonderful. So, so tell me about the words and all is one and that energy um, that you sang it from. Well, um, it just, you, you know, it actually, and it, it's funny too, because that song was written probably 15 years ago. Wow. With my, myself and uh, my producer, Randy Yamada, who lives down in, he used to live in San Jose. He lives in LA now. And when the pandemic hit, I called him up and uh, and I, I was because I was thinking a couple of days, man, you know what? Because everybody was saying, oh, you need to write a song about this. I said, you know what? 
I don't want to write a song about this because everybody's going to be doing that. Yep. But I called Randy and I said, didn't, didn't we write a song a long time ago that had some of the uh, flavor of what's going on right now? He says, yeah. He says, hold on. I'm, I'm sitting at my computer right now. So he's looking down, looking down. It goes way back. He says, all is one. I said, that's it. I said, send it to me. So he sent it to me because I'd kind of forgotten what, what the song sounded like. And it, it was perfect. I went back and, and, and changed a couple of the lyrics to turn things around a little bit. We re-recorded it and, and wow. we put it out and it went straight to number one. Wow, how wonderful is that? And I, was, I was actually still in the, in the Santana band when we wrote that song. Wow. You know, so, so you also worked with a man who I have the highest spiritual respect for Narada Michael Walden. Oh yeah. That guy is transcendent. And and of course he has such spiritual messages in so many of his pieces as well. Yeah. And you were blessed to be able to work with him. And you did many projects with him, right? Oh, oh yeah, a long time ago. Uh, me and uh, Clay Tobin Richardson and Skylar Jett, Nikita Germain and, and Sakai Smith who were uh, two of the background singers with um, uh, 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 A Train. Oh right yeah. yeah, yeah. And we we were all like first first call background singers for Narda on on all of his projects. So I got to got to do a lot of work with him. Uh, work. Should, should we drop some names? Should we drop some names? Uh, work with the, <laughs> Steve Winwood, oh, Steve, OJ's yes. Al the great late Al Jarreau, Aretha Franklin, Aretha Teddy Pendergrass, Lou Rawls, Angela Bofill. Yes. And just to put the little cherry on the top, the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, I did the, the New York Philharmonic Orchestra with, with uh, Angela. Oh, we did really? Duet. Yeah, we did a duet. Wow, how nice At is Avery, that? Avery Fisher Hall in New York City. I'll never forget that. Wow. So, so in this time, you did all this one and brought it up, but you're doing, are you doing the rest of this new CD to tie in? with that as a single from that release or is this whole other release separate no it'll be actually uh actually i won't i won't need to use all this one on the new cd because i got i got a ton of songs on there already so uh, i might go ahead and add it as a bonus anyway but uh the new project i i have at least a minimum of 10 songs that's going to be on the new project anyway so well, and, you're old. You're old school, and I'm old school. And I mean, right. I I remember when you did releases with you know twelve, fourteen, usually fourteen pieces, right? Oh, Sometimes yeah. you get up to seventeen. And and Santana's beautiful album covers and projects and meanings, and you'd meditate on the cover while you were listening to the CD. Exactly. Or no, then it was LP. LP it came out because <laughs> I had a station in Santa Rosa. We played all that, of course. It's no KVRE. And I worked in, even when I worked at K-Rock in LA, I mean, we were playing the LPs, you know, just mm. love those. But now you drop a single and that's like the big deal and maybe that's it, right? Or maybe yeah. two singles. And so it's it's kind of changed. Well, it has changed. It it's changed, changed, big, changed time. big time. Well, see, because the, the thing is, is uh, people are, are downloading and adding, adding stuff to their own playlist because um, unfortunately what, what started happening and it happened to me a couple times. You, you hear you hear a record on the radio, and you go, "Wow, what a great song!" And you check out the artist, and you you go buy buy the CD, and that would be the only song on the CD that was actually worth listening to, you know. So people got tired of buying a, a whole record, and you get one song out of it. So what they do, what they've been doing now, is they download, they put their favorite song to their playlist, and you know, uh, I heard Cheryl Crow back a couple of years ago saying, "You know what?" Uh, things are changing so much. I'm not going to do uh, full albums anymore. I'm just going to release singles now. Wow. And that's what's happening more. But, you know, again, being old school, I mean, I take those albums and I would play almost every song of Santana's, yeah. Narada Michael Walden. Yep. It was a wealth. It was a book. It was a book. You know, All the songs you, had a connection. read the book, you know. Exactly. It told a story, you know. And there was a reason for it, you know, and, and just like, can you imagine if the Beatles just put out one album on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely <laughs> Cover the White Eye, you know, you know, so yeah, it is different. It is. Well, and you know, I, the thing that messed it up for us too, when, when Napster came along yeah. and they were giving, giving away everybody's music for free. And then of, of course, Spotify has also jumped on that bandwagon. 
the, the, the younger generation, they don't buy CDs and, and records no. anymore. They just download or, or they did get, get it live stream for free. They don't well, want to pay for the music. I'm sure this has happened to you, but I'd go do something like an album release or CD release. And I'd be giving, you know, the CD to people. Oh, sorry, I don't have a CD player. It's like, oh, <laughs> you know? exactly. What are you gonna do, right? I mean, I mean, really. Now more and more people don't have even CD players in their cars. In their car. Yeah. So, 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 the, so the auto industry didn't do us any justice either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You and, know what? And, I won't buy a car unless it has a CD player in it. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Like and and stuff. a radio because it's so hard being in I've been in radio 40 years plus. And yeah. you know, when you don't put a radio in a car, we're really in trouble this business, you know. Hey, like, I want wow. I want to use my phone for for it being a phone and if I want to take photos, but I don't want to have to put a whole bunch of music on there and then when I'm in my car, I have to use that to play my music in the car and then phone call comes in and everything shuts off. <laughs> it's true. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. So what's the message on your new, tell us a little bit about this new CD coming out. When's it coming out? Um, I'm planning to release it. So probably sometime, uh, probably in the middle of January or, or first around the first of February. And it's, it's the title is called soul soldier. I like that. And one of the, like one of the singles on there is going to be actually is the uh, soul soldier is, is actually one of the singles too, because soul that's what I am a soul soldier. I keep Tell on me, give, give me a few of the words. Um, I'm doing it now because the time is right. Don't know for sure about an afterlife. Ooh. No one knows. Is it fiction or fact? Because I never talked to one who's left and came back. That's the lines in the first verse. Wow. Happiness. Is so what you gonna do? The best things in life you must pursue. Uh, um, uh, how what's the rest of the lyric now? See, yeah, you, you got. You me have face. to sing it. You'd have to sing it. Probably I might have. <laughs> if you sang it, it would come right to you. Cause my time is right. Don't know for sure about an afterlife. Uh, 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 shucks, about an afterlife. Uh, uh, no one knows is it fiction or fact i never talked to one who left and came back happiness is free so what you gonna do uh uh <laughs> best things in life you must pursue that's good enough uh, yay yeah <laughs> so so when you're writing in your sacred space are you writing in your studio are you writing at you know a certain times day and then go in your studio oh it happens it ha I'm, I'm driving my car and, it, and it's coming to me you know so i'm i'm constantly p either picking up my phone or, or, or grabbing a sheet voice of paper, memo write, voice write memo you write, oh, voice yeah. yeah yeah voice i it, do that it same. Me, uh, i mean i could be in the bathroom and all of a sudden oh i gotta run out and go write something down right quick you know, you know it, the phrase sometimes like you just said the, the title is so important, right? And sometimes you can just get the first line or even the first four lines and you've got the rest will come, right? Yeah. I mean, if you get, but if you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that magic of that seed of the title and the energy, like all is one. I mean, what a great title, right? Yep. You know, and then you want that energy will come after you start it, right? And then the music follows, the words first and music follows for you? Actually, a lot of times it's the music first, you know, and I'll go, uh, I was telling my nephew a couple of days ago, cause I, I keep trying to, uh, to uh, con convince these guys to, you know, Hey man, you know what? You're a great keyboard player, sit down and start writing some songs. And I will, a lot of times I'll hear something and I'll come up with an eight bar phrase music wise that I'll just do eight bars and, and develop that. And I'll be listening to that, that eight bars for probably two or three weeks before I even start writing something to it. Wow. Because I oh, just so you, wanted you, to, you absorb it. You absorb yeah, the groove. Absorb yeah. You absorb it and you become that energy of that. See, music. If see if I'm really feeling it. Yeah. Because you know, you know, we sometimes we come up with something and you go, ah, that's a piece of crap. And then we end up deleting it. But then there's then there's those you kinda you kinda know in the beginning if you if it's if it's gonna develop into something. You know, you're so blessed to be able to do so much, you know, to be able to write, to be able to record. And you have a wonderful family of friends that you yes. can call on 
who did you call on for this new CD to be there with you musically? Um, well, what I do is I do my demos, all my demos, I do them at the studio. And I found a, a, a wonderful producer that uh, he's been a longtime friend of mine. Me and uh, Randy Amato have been, we've been friends for probably 25, close to 30 years now, uh, when he used to live in San Jose. And the guy is a, a, a monster producer. What I love about him is when I do, I do the demos, I send it down to him. He's, you have these producers that they, they insert themselves so much in your music that it kind of be, starts becoming something else besides, other than what you, what you uh, sent to them. But when I send Randy stuff, he just enhances what I send him. That's wonderful. And it doesn't take away from what, what, what I am and what I've given him. He just enhances the sound. And if it needs something, I'll, I'll say to him, you know, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time thinking of a bridge or, or something doesn't feel right there. And he comes up with something immediately. Wow. But he never does anything unless I ask him to do it. Uh -huh. And so it's been, it's been very rare that he would say, hey, man, um, you know, I was listening to that what if we go here with this? But he, 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 most of the time he doesn't do it and he doesn't have to because I make sure that I, I, I lay the demo out and get it to him and he that's just makes That's it respect. Good. That's real respect yeah. on both sides. You know, if it was something that wasn't working and he, he would definitely say something, but yeah. we've never had that problem yet, thank God. What a wonderful combination. Then when he does come up with stuff, then he does he become a co-writer of that oh, yeah. song? Yeah, I make sure I, I make sure I pretty much include him on everything because even when I send him stuff that uh, I've completely written, uh -huh. what he does to it, it, it just takes it somewhere else. So it's like uh, he's added, he's definitely added something. Uh, if, if he didn't add that, then the song would be you know, actually what I sent him and it, it still wouldn't have that, that, that enhancement on it that he puts on it. So I pretty much uh, include him on all the stuff. If not, uh, if not writers sometimes, he definitely gets a 50% on the publishing. So wonderful. I make sure that I, I definitely take care of him with all of that stuff. That's wonderful. That's yeah, so cause... great. That's so important. So when you, this, this hardest part for me always, and for many people, is getting the marketing out there and, and doing that. Because if you're writing it, you know, it's left brain, right brain sometimes. And sometimes artists have a hard time doing a full-time job of marketing, getting it out, distributing. Do you uh, do that or you let someone else do that? No, I, I handle, uh, I, I have I have a couple people that that uh, um, help me out with stuff. Uh, my web designer, Linda, Linda Wu, she's great. And she's, she's tapped into a lot of the uh, what's ever going on on the internet, <laughs> she's tapped into that kind of stuff. And um, I have a couple photographers that I use that uh, Tina Abazade, who lives here. In the, matter of fact, she only lives a few blocks from me. She's got a real good eye for, yes. for photo stuff. And, yeah. um, and a guy named Dave Lapore is another f f photographer that I use out of, out of San Jose. But um, uh, I do a lot of the marketing stuff myself. I work with, um, especially with the uh, radio and and all of that kind of stuff. There's a guy that I work with out of New York. His name is Chris Clay. And for the independent market, there are these uh, radio and marketing people out there that make it extremely reasonable, money wise, for us to get our stuff played on the air and 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 do advertising and all of that stuff. So I've been working with Chris uh, for a couple years now, and I always get on the charts. And my stuff is being played on uh, internet stations all over the place. So that's great. That, yeah, that's and, a blessing because I know Santana was, was Columbia, and um, in fact, I went to a party at his house there at that time ages ago. Back in, this had to be thirty something, thirty five years ago. Uh, his hot had a house over the highway, Highway One Hundred One, huh. up on the hill up there. This beautiful house that we all and and it was CBS put on a party at his house for record wow. people, right? So it was like very cool to be able to go and do that. You know, the days have changed of those kind of A&R. The major companies don't do any kind of promotion like that anymore. I mean, yeah. you know, and, and and so now, yeah, to find a good independent promoter for you oh. is, is, is that's a real blessing that you've got that locked in place. It allows you to do what you want to do without the stress well, of the other part. And all of it, all of it comes down to money. You know, we, you know, yes. you have to spend some money and they, they make it the reasonable enough 
price wise to for for independent artists to do this because with the major record labels it's like uh, these there a lot of radio stations they they want a hundred thousand dollars for them to play, play play your song and, and you don't know how many spins you're going to get at all i i that I well i've i've right. always been an independent radio station owner and never have gone that route and and it's sad because people radio stations like that give radio a bad name you know i mean uh, and it's a, and I actually started in Los Angeles radio, and left it because it became way too corrupt and over. Oh, yeah. It was you know bad. So yeah, I mean I I moved to the, the Bay Area, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, then moved here because um you know be able to do my own thing. But you know there isn't the money you know in being an independent that you get necessarily. Right. The big names, but obviously this is the route you wanted to take and that you took that worked for you. Well, it's it's the kind of thing of uh, if if you want to be heard, you know, there's there's a market out there for you. You just you, you're gonna have to pay some money, but it's it's not gonna it's not gonna break your bank. Yeah. You know, and um, there's and there's, then you own it. You own oh, yeah. it, and you control it. Yeah. Exactly. And you better believe on all of those internet radio stations that that my material is being played on. The, the the big the big wigs are listening. They're listening to that because there's so oh, many really? independent artists on the, on those stations, and uh -huh. the music is fantastic. The competition that I am in with uh, uh, with getting played on those stations, it's it's you. So how how come that person is not signed? It's amazing, and and I still see on 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 the charts that I'm on, I see the whispers on that chart. Oh, I see I see Babyface on that chart. I yeah. see Gregory Porter on the chart. Yes. I see Lettucey. I mean, all these folks that are signed with the major labels are also on the same chart that I'm on as an independent. Yes. yes. And I'm and my stuff is going right past them to number one. So uh, that's that's telling me that I'm I'm doing the right thing. Well, you are, and it's and it's going to be an interesting year. I think this is probably one of the hardest years we've seen. Yeah. Uh, and I almost feel like for myself, it's just like I can hopefully breathe the sigh of release that just made it through this year. It hasn't been easy at all. Um, I worked right because in radio, I've been on the air. I haven't taken a day off at all. I mean, I've been on the air every day and I have uh -huh. two, I'm on three radio stations. So, you know, I'm working harder than ever. But for you, I mean, are you thinking of, are you, can you even comprehend it? Would it be next uh, April, May, anytime soon that you know you will be back and doing any I have kind no of life? Idea. Yeah, it, depends on, it depends on how the, uh, how the vaccine works at this point. That's true. No, and you're right there. See, the thing is, even with the vaccine, people, people have to understand and know that you still got to wear your mask. Yeah. And you still have to, you still have to keep the distance. You still got to keep washing your hands yeah. until the numbers go way down. Yeah. So we have control of it. We have to continue to do what we're doing now. And, and people need to stop with this attitude of um, you're, you're infringing, infringing up, up upon my freedom and, and all right. Forget that. Yes. You know, it's the kind of thing we got to take care of each other right now because this, this pandemic is wiping people out really fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's we got been an devastating. Alert. Yeah, we got an alert on our phone here uh, yesterday here in the Bay Area on how fast it's rising. So... You know that. Are you staying? Are you pretty much not going to any restaurants, or is it all closed down? Pretty much. They closed going down into? now. They even even the outdoor seating is closed down at restaurant. Wow. So yeah. you get you get takeout, or you yeah. cook at home. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so, a good thing because a yes. lot of people a lot of people need to learn how to cook anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do you cook? Oh yeah, you, I love oh, it. Good. Okay. Oh yeah, well, that's a good thing too. Well, I, I really enjoy getting to know you, but I think it's important people know how to find your music, how to get your music, how to check you out. What are the, the best sites to go to? Well, uh, my website, uh, first of all, at Tony, Tony dot com, and Lindsay is spelled L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. So my website has got uh, everything on it. And uh, as far as getting my music, I'm on all of the digital download platforms with uh, Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, uh, 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 Google Play, uh, you name it. Uh, you can find my music on all of those to, uh, to download, oh, CD Baby, all of that stuff. So well, I'm, I'm extremely easy to find. You're doing it right, and you're doing it really well, and like to be able to be number one on the charts and doing all of that through all of these hard times is pretty amazing. So I just yeah. have to bow to you because you know what? You're doing some great work 
and it's good vibe music. It's good energy music, and it's music that makes you feel good, and I like that. Yes, I appreciate it, too. And, you know, uh, fortunately for me, uh, 20, 2020 wasn't as bad. Yeah, of course, health-wise, we have to watch out. But uh, music-wise, it's been a great year for me. You know, me, too. I, me, I too. Me, too. I almost feel guilty with. about that, you know. But, but no, I mean, that's good. That's yeah. good that you can do that, you know, because this is what you need. And it's like that energy pours through you when it's needed. And that's what it's you it. are. You're a creator, right? And my dad used to tell me all the time, his, one of his favorite songs was uh, Only the Strong Survive by Jerry Butler. Oh, I remember that song. Oh, yeah. yeah. He used to yeah. sing that and he looked at me and only the strong survive, son. Remember that. <laughs> and that's what you've done. And that's, that's what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate meeting you, too. I mean, every, I, don't, I don't believe that anything happens by accident. I agree. You know, that, that I meeting, uh, I hadn't signed on uh, any, any of the Grammy meetings before because I didn't, I didn't even know that they had the uh, little mixers like they did that day. And, you know, we got to meet well, each for, other. For me, it's a blessing because I couldn't go in person. You know, I could, but it cost me a fortune to fly there and back and stay. So it'd be able, it made me be able to connect to some cool people like exactly. you. And, and, and the music family is very, especially independent music family, very supportive. Oh, yeah. Very supportive, very helpful. Um, and I love that. I mean, it, this yeah. musical family and collaborations has been a miracle for me. And, and it's been wonderful. It's only going to get better. Yeah, I agree. I think I so. I agree on that. I agree. Well, wonderful talking and uh, Mele Kaliki Maka. And, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, and, and all of my friends that I've mentioned to you, make sure you tell them hello when you, when I will. you, you know, talk to them. Uh, I, I will. It's a small music circle. And we're and all if you, if, and if you And if you can... Give Kelly Covington a bit a big hug for me because that's, that's I will. She's one she's, of my favorite people. She's an amazing woman. And you know what? We have to end on this note. We are all one. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate it. Aloha. Okay. <laughs>